he did not refer to an act of terror. He referred generally to acts of terror. Joining us now is Senator John Barrasso. He's Republican from Wyoming. Senator, uh, two questions right off the bat. Did the president mislead? And secondly, if you consider that he did mislead, how vigorously should Governor Romney mount the attack today? Well, I think the president did mislead, but I think the president failed. Even if you look at the run-up to the, uh, uh, the, the murder, the assassination of these four uh, brave Americans, the, the signals were all there. The alarm bells were going. The, the, you know, uh, the, uh, the British pulled out of Benghazi. The Red Cross pulled out. There had been attacks uh, on our structures there. So the president should have seen this coming. But, uh, but then you have what happens that, that but, day but does, and then in the next couple of weeks. Does Governor Romney lose the, the debate if he attacks the president on this foreign policy issue too vigorously? Well, I think that the governor will make a, uh, a spirited defense of his goals in terms of foreign policy and the biggest threat to our national security right now, according to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, is our debt. And this president has piled five trillion dollars of additional debt on the American people, which to me weakens our nation. And I think that is the case to be made tonight by, uh, by Governor Romney. Uh, you, you think that Governor Romney will say that? You can't have a strong foreign policy, a strong presence in the world if you're broke. Will he make that point strongly? Well, I would, I would expect that he would, and I expect that it'll be a, that, that will resonate with people. Ronald Reagan used to always say, peace through strength, and strength involves economic strength. Uh, if you're borrowing 40 cents of every dollar you spend from China, how do you stay a strong and independent nation? You can't do it, Stuart. So absolutely, we need to focus on getting the economy going and on that poll that you showed, which is essentially shows a tie race on jobs, the economy, and on the debt. Governor Romney is really doing very, very well, and the president is doing poorly. What do you make of that headline in the Saturday New York Times? saying that Iran and America had agreed to face-to-face -to -face talks, albeit after the election, on Iran. Now, what do you make of that? I, I read that as an October surprise, and I don't think it's worked. Do you think it'll come up tonight? Well, I think it'll come up. One is I think it didn't work. Number two is the, the White House has now denied it, which shows a White House with, addition, with ongoing leaks that had obviously had to be leaked out of the White House. But let's face it, the president wanted to negotiate with Iran, and he said that four years ago when he was running. So here we are four years later, and he said he was going to have a better relationship across the entire Middle East as a result of, his, uh, of the, the force of his own personality and his charisma. And what we've seen is a worse situation. Iran has four times as much uh, enriched nuclear material now as they did four years ago uh, through the Senate. We have forced onto the president sanctions to be used against Iran. He's used them, but then he has given a number of waivers. So you still have money from China going into uh, Iran. I want to make sure that Iran gets no nuclear weapons. Okay. Senator John Barrasso, Republican, Wyoming. Always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you, Stuart. Yes, sir.